Okay, now that we have created our WordPress account and named the site, the next thing we want to do is update our home page. Now the home page is the first thing that people will see when they go to your website, and so we want it to look really visually appealing and full of good content. Now it says here, welcome to your website. Now it's gonna show you a little bit about what we're gonna see here. And now here we have our home page. Now we can start here with the top title bar. Um, everything in WordPress is pretty much editable here in the visual editor. And I'm, uh, you know, you can give it a big headline, welcome to the site, or any kind of big tagline that you might want to do, as well as some text that you might want to include here, and then a big old button if you ever want them to access a certain page or part of your website. Right now, that might not be so relevant because we don't really have any content on the site. I would just go ahead and, and edit some of this text to be relevant to your site. Just something small, something that users can see upon first getting to your site. Now, um, you'll see that as you edit anything here that brings up this little toolbar that has some bolds and you can bold words, italics, you can add links, which we'll do uh, in future tutorials. I'll show you more about that. Um, but you can kind of just experiment with some of these toolbars here and now. Beyond that, you can edit this big banner image just by clicking the image up here at the top and we can click replace. Once you do that, we can either upload our own or we can open a media library if we've already uploaded some content before. So I'm gonna go ahead and open a new tab and just go to a website, unsplash.com, and I'm going to type in food. And so if I wanted a nice big banner image for this website, I can go ahead and click on something like this, uh, save the image, and go ahead and save it in my downloads folder. And from there, I can upload it. And there it is. And it will allow me to change the banner image here. Uh, now you'll notice sometimes it's a little bit hard to see with the white text on a busy background. So you might wanna choose a background that's a little darker um, or text that's a little darker um, depending on the background that you see. And so here I've got my image. Now there are some other options here for the style. You know, if you wanna do different stylized things to it, change the focal point of where the user is actually seeing the image. You can kind of change that around. That might help with your text in front of it. And then you can just change some other small things down here with a certain like overlay. If you wanted it to be a little bit darker, you could do that and um, this might actually help your text be seen a little bit better if you change that opacity a little bit. So, and then down here, you've got some blog posts. Now we haven't actually written any blog posts yet, but when you do, they will be populated here on the homepage. And your first post will be to introduce yourself, which we'll get to in a minute. But right now it's just repeating that same one over and over again. We're gonna let that be because we do want our posts to go to our homepage. We want it to feed in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it there. But I do want you to be aware that here on the homepage, you have some other options in terms of adding content. Right now, we just have this big banner image with you know some blog posts that are being fed in, but you could also add some other things to this um, editor. And the way to do that is up here, there's this button that says add block. And the way WordPress works is through these blocks. It's a block system. You can see there's a big block for the header. There's a big block feeding in your blog post. There's another block down here that says get content directly to your inbox and all kinds of blocks that you might want to add. Now here on the left, are all of your options for what kind of blocks you're creating. Some of them you have to pay for, some of them are free, and they don't all make sense to put in our sites right now, but you can kind of peruse what they have in terms of options. I'm gonna go down here to layout elements and you can see here that they've got something called columns. So if I press this columns button, it's now gonna create a new block and I can decide what kind of columns I want. So if I want, you know, thirds, it now created this new block with three different columns in it. Now, once I've added it, you can see it's a little bit small and my block is selected. Uh, there's some options within this block that I can make, actually make it a little bit wider. There's a button that says change alignment. And instead of having um, a kind of a smaller one, I can make it a full width and it's a bit wider there. Um, if I don't like that, I can always click back on the block 
I have to actually click away from it and then back onto it. And then I can click here to make it a wide width or a full width and you kind of uh, play with those a little bit. But just to kind of get used a little bit to the, the way that blocks work, this is your home page. It's a static page. All of your actual posts will populate here on the home page and they want you to just kind of go through this and edit it a little bit. You don't have to do a lot here, uh, but just kind of get used to the interface of WordPress using these blocks and experiment a little bit with what you want your site to say when people first get to your website. Once you've just kind of experimented a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and press update. It's gonna update my website. And then I'm gonna go back to where I was. I'm gonna click back here to my WordPress dashboard with this little button. And now that we've done that, now our homepage has been updated. Now it's gonna want you to confirm your email address. And since I wrote one that doesn't really exist, I can't do that. So make sure that you confirm your email address. The next option will be to create a site menu, which we are going to skip for now. And then the next one will be to actually launch your site. Now I can't launch it until I confirm my email address, but you will be able to launch your site. And so once you're done with that, go ahead and press launch site and your site will be ready to go. In the next video, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about posts and how to add posts and how to update them on your homepage.